Hi, my name is Gal and today we are comparing Webflow and Elementor Website Builder head-to-head. -head. Starting with pricing, Webflow offers a free tier for design and staging, but live sites require a subscription. The basic plan begins at $14 a month, with prices scaling up to $39 per month for more features and traffic. For large-scale enterprises, they provide custom pricing solutions. On the other side, Elementor's free version offers mostly basic features. But if you want more advanced tools, the Pro version starts at $69 per year for a single site, with packages up to $433 per year for a thousand sites. Remember, if you are using Elementor, you'll need to account for the additional cost of WordPress hosting, which can change based on your provider and traffic needs. In terms of pricing, Elementor alone is the cheaper option, but if you count in all the rest of the plugins that you'll need to run a site with, it might not be a better deal. For this video though, Elementor gains a point in pricing. Next one is of use. Webflow is designed for those with a solid understanding of web design and development. Although it's a primarily a no-code platform, it still requires quite a deep understanding of how to design websites and how to optimize them. Elementor, on the other hand, is known for its user-friendly drag-and-drop interface, which is why it's one of the most popular website builders for users of WordPress. It integrates seamlessly with WordPress and it offers a lot of starting point templates that make designing a website easy even for beginners. That's why Elementor gains a point in ease of use department. Now, the learning curve. Webflow, with its advanced capabilities, demands a deeper understanding of web design principles. It's a powerful tool that you can use to make basically anything if you're an expert, but it can be overwhelming for beginners. Elementor, while still versatile, is a lot more forgiving. Its intuitive design and WordPress integration make it easier to learn, especially for those already familiar with the WordPress ecosystem. The learning curve is much shorter with Elementor, so that's why it gains a point. It's much better suited for beginners. Now, the customization ability. On Webflow, you can basically modify just about anything. This includes animations, interactions and responsive design controls. If you are a designer or if you have a team of experts, Webflow will give you much more flexibility. On the other hand, Elementor provides a wide array of widgets, templates and design options that come very handy if you're a beginner. In terms of customization, Webflow gains a point. If you're an expert, you'll be able to achieve much better results with Webflow. What about complexity of websites? When it comes to the complexity of the websites you can build, Webflow is especially powerful for creating sophisticated, responsive and interactive sites. If you have a SaaS business that requires constant iteration, making complex changes will be much easier and much more powerful in Webflow. Elementor, while it may not offer the same level of detailed control as Webflow, still supports a wide range of complex site requirements. It's particularly effective when combined with the right plugins and themes in the WordPress ecosystem. Still, Webflow gains a point in website complexity. So what's the summary? Webflow is ideal for design professionals or companies with teams of experts and those needing extensive control over their website's design. But it comes with a steeper learning curve and higher price point. Elementor is more accessible, budget-friendly and integrates well with the WordPress environment, making it a lot more catered towards beginners. Your decision should be based on your technical skills, design needs and budget constraints. But if you're thinking about which website builder to choose, you can watch our next video, where we talk about the comparison between Webflow and WordPress. See you in the next video!